Welcome my crystal kings and queens. So I want to apologize in advance as I realized upon filming the introduction to this video there was so much rattling going on. So hopefully there's not much more throughout the rest of this video but if there is again I do apologize. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel you guys. So today I'm doing a quick video on crystal cleansing. I hope this really helps some of you because I know um, there are a few of us who are unsure about proper ways to go about cleansing a crystal. There is no wrong or right way so whatever resonates with you then go for that. Um, it's important that we do make sure our crystals are free from any energetic residue. Crystals they go through a ton of exposure between people and changing environments so unless you know that your crystals energy is pure then it's just always best to clear it before you expose yourself to the energy it has within it crystals retain a lot of energy information um, it, it just simply absorbs energy and transfers it so it's important that you remove any of that before dealing with your crystal. Those energies not necessarily have to be positive, bad, good, negative, what have you, but you wanna make sure when you're connecting with your crystal that you are connecting with it on a 100% fresh and natural level in its natural state so that it can work its best for you. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps someone. And if you are new to the channel, welcome. If you have been subscribed to me, thank you so much for joining me again and supporting me. Also, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I do have a blog site. Definitely go check that out. That's www.royallabyrinth.com and enjoy. First technique that I use is running my crystals and or tumbles under free flowing water or placing them in a bowl of cold water. Um, I like cold water simply because it just feels much better uh, when holding my crystals. It's not all extra hot like I'm holding a bunch of hot stones or something. So um, if you find that placing your crystals in a bowl of cold water or hot water is easiest and most convenient for you then go for that i usually um like to sit my crystals next to my workstation while i'm just doing my homework or sit it under my live laugh love lamp and just kind of watch the water glisten off of the crystals while they're in there but to each his own um, i just kind of choose to do this as my first and most simplest form of um, cleansing also you know you get that shine and it just looks so pretty and new so i really love that glossy shiny look on my crystals when i get them out of water the second technique you can use to cleanse your crystals and or tumbles would be placing them in a bowl of pure salt i am using pink himalayan salt and you guys i had not stopped to realize how gorgeous and natural this actually looks so not only do you get to cleanse your crystals but you also get a conversation piece while doing so technique number three to cleanse your crystals would be to run your crystal through the smoke of an incense so here i have my strawberry incense and i have my smoky quartz cluster so i'm going to go ahead and light this incense I can get some good smoke here. Blow this out. All right, so we got some good smoke going. Okay, so just run this through the smoke. not sure if that's as clear for you to see because the smoke is kind of clouding the camera you don't have to do this for long it's totally up to you how long you decide to run it through the smoke
The next technique we have is running your crystal through Palo Santo. So I'm going to go ahead and whoop, turn this around and light this. You guys, this is my first time ever. And we're going to blow that out. Get a real clean smoke. Set that there. And we're going to run the crystal through the smoke of Palo Santo. Now, Palo Santo has a very interesting smell. Not terrible, but it also doesn't smell like wood like I thought it would. Last but not least of the million ways to cleanse your crystal is through the use of sage. So I'm going to go ahead and light my sage here. Let that smoke up some. And then take my crystal and just let it sit over the sage. To my crystal kings and queens, sending you crystal kisses and royal blessings. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.